Good morning. <laughs> it's a fake Monday, aka it's a Tuesday um, that had a it's a Tuesday that had a bank holiday Monday. So today is fake Monday. On fake Mondays at work at Tala, we work from home because we spend Mondays doing trade reporting and then everyone's in the office like and it's distracting. I know what you're thinking. One of our fingers has fallen off. It hasn't. Turns out my fingers are just very short and stubby without the nails and we had a bit of a casualty yesterday. I sat down for five minutes and so therefore obviously decided I had to rearrange my entire apartment. So uh, yeah, and lost a finger in the process. Um, I moved. I moved about a week and a half ago, a week and a half ago, nearly two weeks ago now. Um, I'm living alone. No big reason, just decided it was time to live alone. And so here we are on my ones, really enjoying home alone life. I thought today I would vlog, evidently. On Mondays, I get my shit together. I work from home. I do my master to-do list table, obviously not a list. Who the fuck would do a to-do list? So here we are. You're just my company for the day, to be honest. It's about 8.30. Why 8.40? She's off schedule. I have got ready, had my morning coffee, I've got a rooftop here, which is really quite life-changing. Absolutely love it. feel like I'm in a movie every time I sit out there, have my morning coffee. I've, I feel a bit cagey today because yesterday was obviously bank holiday, so I spent the whole day because I had, a, I had my sister's wedding this weekend, which was in Slovakia. So obviously went there and then came back on Sunday and then I was like, I'm not going to film my Monday with anything because since I moved, I haven't actually had any time to sit here and like rearrange things and like make things look nice, it's kind of just been unpacked into the first possible place. As you can see here, this is the result of things from yesterday. I got some like plant pots and shit. I literally spent the whole day in yesterday. Well, obviously took the dog out and everything. Went into Central to get my lashes done. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, guys. And so, anyway, feeling a bit cagey. What's the disease where you can't stay on one topic at once? Riddle me this. The most accurate comment I've ever heard about myself was on a TikTok of a YouTube video I did. Someone commented, it was the top comment. So many people had liked it and it said, this girl, I feel like she says so much, <laughs> but says so little. And I have never, I have never been so accurately analyzed in my life. Often what happens on Mondays, um, and we are, we will be calling today a Monday. If I hear anyone, say that today is not a Monday. Suck you. Um, I don't know if anyone else has this, but like I am one of those people that until it's on paper or until it's dumped out, like I cannot solve a problem without putting it into a fucking table. A table. I don't know what the disease is called, but whatever it is, I am viciously, virulently infected. Is virulent? Vir the jury's out on the word. But essentially, long story short, I felt too overwhelmed going on a walk before I knew what I had to do. So instead, we're gonna plan our day first. So what I usually have is, is any of this confidential? Yes. You, confidential, scribble, scribble. You, confidential, scribble, scribble. Right, so take the to-do table from Friday. Obviously, you don't have your planners yet because they don't ship until beginning of October. But um, you imagine you have your planner and you do your little quick ticks task project schedule all on a notepad. Literally what I've done for the past few years, so you will survive. Um, so, it's the 20th of September today. Countdown is on to see how long it takes me to edit this and get it up. There were a few questions in my last productivity video. They were basically saying like, do you do a to-do table at the beginning of the week or every day? I do one personally every day and that is because I write down everything. But it totally depends. If you don't fill it up anywhere near in a day, then maybe you don't need to do that and you can just add on to it the next day. I personally like a fresh slate. Fresh slate, blank slate, fresh page. Transferring from Friday's to-do table to today's to-do table. done that and that is super like empty basically but fear not we have more tasks to do usually what happens as well is because I only really put the active tasks in there like say in two weeks time I knew I needed to start a strategy for blah blah blah, blah. I'll put that in my google calendar on the morning of being like block this or like to do this and then I don't need to start I don't need to be anxious about that for two weeks up to it so I 
plot things in the future when they're going to be in the future otherwise they're just always on there like imagine if you had your dissertation on your projects part of your to-do table when it's done in like four months like you know you need to start doing bits of it but realistically probably what you more need on there is like find books for your own reading list like compile questions for the research whatever it might be i don't know why my only area of expertise is dissertations some of us peak in education yeah so then what i do is i go and look at my very sociable self this is me texting myself do you know how outrageously embarrassing that is so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to offload those onto my quick ticks tasks and projects Lastly, before I go, um, so it's a lot more populated now, and I haven't, this is just from here, here, I haven't checked my slacks yet, so I'm assuming like tasks will pop up in the middle, this is actually, I'll be honest, I'm a bit embarrassed, it's a bit of a bad one for me today, for me to start the week. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my schedule from here, and just, this sounds like it takes ages, it does not take ages, and it, the amount of time it speeds up in your prioritization and your active um like jumping on the right tasks at the right time um and lack of procrastination when you have this in place is incomparable if it's not for you it's not for you but do not tell me it takes longer Now I've got my schedule written down, I am going to add my three non-negotiables I'll get done for the day. Don't stop thinking these are non it's non -nego it's negotiable to do your non-negotiables or not. It's not. It's how you define your success in every day. And usually the days where I don't define my non-negotiables for the day, then I'm just lost. Like it takes me a lot longer to come out of a task and then prioritize another so what i'll do is i'll look at all of this you can see there's a heavy weighting towards twi quick ticks and then projects and um then i've pretty much got from 12 15 till 5 blocked out in calls so even though there's not a lot of like tasks that i need to block out that's quite good because that means a blank slate i reckon the second i'll get on slack i'll have 15 tasks that i need to add down add down add on i also I've made a pact for myself that on work from home days I'm going to cook, not all the time, and I will be having some microwave meals. So, my three non-negotiables for the day, because I've got so many quick ticks, a lot of them are basically delegations, so things that have come up over the weekend that I need to delegate. So, number one is going to be quick tick delegations, and then number two... I'm doing a Q&A on my stories today about the Shreddy Challenge because we will be working out consistently from this time next week and this is more for me than anyone else it's ex it's highly selfish i just need to get back into the gym i've talked about this on my tiktok i want nasa to be talking about my bum because it's so big that when they look down from space at the planet earth they think what is that enormous landmark so that's what i'll be doing this winter i always fall off every winter which is fine but it makes me feel good and i need it and i prioritize all the things over it which is stupid so i will be adding to my non-negotiables for the day <laughs> So I have blitzed through literally all of the quick ticks. So now I have about 45 minutes till a call with the senior marketing manager and brand manager at Shreddy before we have our weekly trade. Usually this would be a Monday one-to-one -one call with the commercial director at Shreddy, but he is also getting married. Everyone's getting, clearly I am a good omen. That's it, I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna eat. Guess what I'm having for breakfast? It's really hard to guess. have all that come to my days at uni we have a bagel and a punnet of mushrooms can we believe that an entire punnet of mushrooms only makes this many mushrooms a crime jail i am going to eat this while i've got 25 minutes now until my next call so i am going to do my uh story little q a thing that i said i would do and is one of my non-negotiables i submit my life to this meal 
my sister thought chef's kiss was like like a little curse so now we call it chef's curse it's not only it's just a hello hello hey guys sorry i'm a little late how are you all good how are you good thanks i'm actually only late because i was doing shreddy q a on my stories so um i take that my apology and launch so the announcement should be probably the well it should be and then it should be a specific time especially because there's been hype recently and then can we i know we've been over this a few times so can we just get that all in writing into a kind of blueprint type thing so we have okay. teaser oh, i'm brain dead i'm brain dead i'm brain dead okay so what usually happens is my one-to-ones with the with tala's managing director are usually on a tuesday it's obviously a tuesday now but we haven't had like the monday so usually what will happen is before the meeting like in the morning or the night before i'll get like a full list on a document that i won't show you because it's literally the most confidential thing i do um which basically is an entire list of like everything we're going to talk about so but today what i have is basically it says at the top bank holiday yesterday so I don't have complete notes for today but we better use the time to discuss beep beep big push for beep our head of brand starts today a few chats about onboarding and then a few various other different things so usually i'd spend about 45 minutes going through the document noting down anything i need to do or we need to discuss or responding to any of the specific points but today i don't really need to do that there's only one thing which has me like tagged in it which is yeah, just various things that we'll be doing. I am going to do 15 minutes of reading and this is usually what I do when like, I'm frazzled. I have my Kindle. I'm currently reading Lessons in Chemistry, which I am fucking loving. It's so fucking well written. It's so funny. I love it. And then I'm eating a protein bar, which I can't show you. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I think the closer we can get to like clarity around what the idea and the execution of it is, what the main, obviously, just all the usual, like what the main risks are, how do we, what are our non-negotiables in terms of... Do you remember my uni vlogs where I used to sit in the same place for just like three years and like not move at all? You'll be pleased that I'm very good with consistency. So um, here I am again. You'll be delighted to know not planning to move for the next few hours either. I know some people do really exciting content. I'm just here to, you know, be original and do like really, really boring content where I actually just don't move for an entire day. I am about to hop on Tala Trade. It's mainly just reporting, to be honest. We love reporting. We must start all weeks with reporting. How can you measure progress if you don't know what your progress is and you're not measuring it? No, no, no. There are, there are ways we can get it not do that, but yeah. But I thought it was, you know, it's good news. Are there things legal that we can do, Tony? Only fans. <laughs> we could sell a book writing up the entire series of events of what's gone wrong. Forget products. No one wants activewear. They want drama. It's been six months since April. <laughs> she paid £600 and this is another level of quality. But, but the ones are made in the same factory and yeah. are what 350 400 pounds yeah. um on monday it was a 58% new customer split and um wednesday a 55% new customer split so nearly every day um apart from thursday and friday for the launch new customers were over 50 percent i managed to persuade this company into delivering fabric wool they were very annoyed at me but it <laughs> worked um, and then yeah i went for commercial campaign but also meets skiing and uh, going fishing on the weekend <laughs> when you get your drink. <laughs> so i'm you so went. intrigued as to where the going fishing on the weekend comes in we can get them out of the factory soon enough but yes when are we talking because you probably would wear a gilet now with a sunday light underneath interesting maybe we start thinking about that soon <laughs> yes, yes, yes maybe look after this call. <laughs> Maybe like in five minutes. Okay, say someone's doing, well, well there's, there's so much like democratization of this, like being able to create a business now because of social media, but it's like that gap is so vast for so many people in terms of like, how do you quit your job? And a lot of the advice online is just like, no, just quit, quit your job. Just like take the leap and it's like actually probably don't take the leap yet like maybe don't but like what are the steps we can take to get you to the point where you can take yeah. take that leap wait, i think that's really wait, crucial wait. 
I'm a shell of a human being. It is 4.30 on a fake Monday. Why do I feel like I've been hit by a truck? Nothing is going on in here. Like nothing. It's like cotton wool. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do about it. You know those weeks where it's just like, I'm not going to tell myself it's going to be a bad week. I'm not going to tell myself it's going to be one of those weeks because we can't be having one of those weeks and therefore we will not be having one of those weeks. I don't know why I'm standing like a teacher telling you off for not doing your homework. All I know is that it is 4.30 on a fake Monday. I had the whole day off yesterday. I had a three day weekend and I feel like shats. Fucking shat in the toilets. So pleased to report that really, you know, getting my circulation going really actually helped. Right, so as predicted, so much has come up over the day. She's nearly full. It's 4.44 now, so my last call ended a bit early, and I'm going to put some music on. I am going to number these tasks. When I get to the end of the day, I prioritize, so I'll like have all of these tasks, and then I'll do like one, two, like all of this. Like I'll just just do it. Number count exactly the order I'm going to do them in. I don't want to be using my brain for anything other than doing the task. I will blitz through it till six. An hour and 15 minutes. I'm also at that annoying stage in the day where because I had my breakfast late and then I had a protein bar instead of lunch, now would be a really good time to have lunch, but it's 4.45. My stomach's saying lunch. My clock is saying, what is wrong with you? Um, and so we're just going to have to, maybe a, a bowl of popcorn, is that really strange? I just, I eat so much processed food in the week. I constantly, like, I, I constantly eat, and I was meant to, I even got, I even got ingredients. But here we are, we don't have time. This hour and 15 minutes is gonna be used so wisely. You're never gonna be see, see a more wise hour and 15 minutes. Um, so I will stop talking. I'm going to order these things, and I'm gonna grab myself a thing of popcorn and a Diet Coke. Nutrition. So I'll be like one, and then two, and then three. I reckon I can get those three done before an obscene hour. What I also do, very important. How cool is this? So basically so many people ended up buying planets that we've um, split production so that like when we finish one batch, um, we'll basically get it over straight away and out to the customer. So some people will receive those like before we even said, which is fantastic. It's it's pretty, pretty good. Um, but yeah, they're all gonna be shipped ahead of schedule if everything continues going. It's 5.30 and I've got a few things to do. Another exciting thing this week, so we are launching our USA site this week, so that includes fun things like localised sales tax in those in those states, so basically people will only pay up the sales tax rather than like how we usually charge VAT from the UK. Um, obviously just like a little taster of like the types of things that is involved in each of these things, it's been months in the making, but even like, yeah, so like the tech stuff, the PNL stuff, um, the prices so that we can do it, all of these different things. Super exciting as we go into like more markets. Obviously we already sell worldwide, but the difference between like selling worldwide and doing like, oh my God, and doing like meaningful expansion in terms of like logistics and site and all of those things is like a big, big project. I've also just finished my number two. So now I'm going to do my number three, it is six. So I've slightly run over, but this one shouldn't take too long. I'm just blocking all the big projects into my week so that I know where I am doing things and I do not die of stress or overwhelm or my company failing. 
Right, so just to show you how I do this, like blocking big things that I have in the week. So tomorrow, as you can see there, there's no point me blocking anything extra because I know that there will be tasks that come up. So I won't put anything in there. What I probably want to be doing then is I will create a block. So then also no one can put things in my diary. And then the main things I need to do, social strategy review, promo and key messaging wish list and content request thing. Now, when I look at my diary, for the week it looks really stressful but what I can what I sometimes even do when it's getting too busy is I just draw a little arrow over these things which means they've just been like moved along all of a sudden I have only four tasks which I can like get through tomorrow if there's like an hour window that suddenly comes up then I have like two quick ticks which I can just quickly do now and then my main tasks for tomorrow for time that pops up are just these three things so I need to send the vlog footage with like a brief for the whole vlog in terms of editing it because I do that quite detailed I need to review a plan for swim 2023 um and then i need to organize the full to-dos for when my assistant comes back from annual leave so then suddenly i feel far less overwhelmed because it's all there i what am i gonna do quickly i'm gonna go on a walk and then when i'm gonna put my shepherd's pie in the oven and then i'm gonna go on a walk and i'm gonna put two shepherd's pies in the oven because i want to have one for lunch tomorrow the one thing i forgot is that i always end my day by going through all my slacks to make sure i'm even if i'm just being like hey can't get to this today we'll get to this tomorrow sorry love you usually not love you questionable in the workplace <laughs> scene from Made in Chelsea where um, Spencer told Louise that it was her fault that he cheated on her because he didn't respect her because he let her cheat. This is where it happened. I'm gonna reenact it with Ziggy, one sec. Uh, like, yeah, the thing is, obviously I cheat on you because you let me cheat on me, me, you. So the only reason I do that is because I don't respect you um, and it's your fault. I'm one of those people who like, I don't want to sit down to eat my dinner with like my day clothes on. I need to be in my pajamas, preferably under a duvet. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a shepherd's pie. The shepherd's pie I put in the oven, very organized. I do love when you remember like to put something. I, I always get to the point where I need to eat and then I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. This thing takes 45 minutes, but no, not today. Today, I took control of my own future. I know what you're probably thinking. Was this meant to be submitted as the most boring and uneventful blog of all time and yes i will be calling in guinness world records to give me that title so you're welcome for being able to be part of that experience i'm sorry my life's just not very exciting to be honest i have nothing real and i'll look like a monster a boring monster that's all i am so i would say apologies for the lack of entertainment but like i'm the one who has to do this so i'm afraid i cannot give you fun influence in life I don't think it would suit me to be honest, I'd probably go off the rails within two seconds. Um, so here I am on the straight and narrow. Yes, if you can hear that, that is classical music in the background. Just thought, you know, how could I possibly add to my very exciting personal brand that I've given off in this video? And uh, the conclusion was sort of a very foamy face and some classical music. So thank you for listening, watching even. I hope you have a lovely week. And um, I'm planning to upload this before, before the week is out. And uh, if that isn't an achievement, I don't know what it is to be honest. Um, so, oh my god, now I'm just, I'm dripping. This is not a good outro. I'm living alone tip. Because you know you don't really want to, well, you mostly don't want to op open a bottle of wine um, when you're by yourself if you n don't drink it like every night. Wine in a box, life changing. Just come here and just pshh and then have a little, 
glass of wine. <laughs>